Hello and welcome to the 15th video in this file system video tutorial series. Uh, my name is David Thorne and in this video we're going to be talking about fopen and fread um, functions um, and reading n bytes at a time. Now as we've been working before with this fopen.txt we've had just like 123 new line, 456 new line and so on. Now I've kind of changed the structure of it just a little bit and essentially this is then um, written line by line as such so we've then got um, the first line is kind of written in bytes second line is written in bytes and the third the um, other information is just a string okay so we're not really interested in whether there's new lines there tabs there or whatever okay we're interested in the structure of data now this is now uh, not an uh, email data it's just going to be let's just say it's a, a um, X X mail or whatever you know it's the fact that we know that the first 10 bytes of information is going to tell us something all right in this case it's going to tell us 1 through to 9 but maybe there's you know some other data that it, it might tell us and then it's followed by another um, new line okay so essentially so there's two new lines okay there's one end in this one first 10 bytes of data and then there's another new line and then everything after um, the 11th bytes okay is then the body of the message so this is the body of the message therefore we need to know a way that we can kind of just like read the header part of it you know if we don't if this body of the data is like megabytes in size but we don't want to read all of that data because it's time consuming we just want to read the first 10 bytes of data um, otherwise if we want to read the whole lot we need to know that the first 11 bytes of data we need to disregard and so we can just get to the body of the message it's kind of like a lot like an email at the moment you know because that's kind of like maybe an email works and also how other packets work as well um, so we want to know a way that we can just read and extract this one this data out so um, let's begin all right and we'll explain it as we go along so first of all we're going to check as always if the file exists and the, the path to the file is obviously um, fopen.txt and just to show you what fopen.txt does actually look like is this so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine go into a new line and then go into a new line again and this is the body of the message so this is like the head of our message okay and then this is the main body of our message and for time every single message that we read we just want to read the first 10 bytes of it um, and then later we'll just read the remaining body of the message so if we have the file um, then we then need to have a, a file handle therefore we can say f open and file uh, whoops and path and we're going to then use the um, read mode to read from it because we don't need to write to it and then we're going to check if this is a, a valid file handle and if it is a valid file handle naturally we're going to close this handle straight away because we're good programmers okay now that we've got a, a valid file handle open um, we want to know that we're going to say like header and we're just going to set it to null first of all and then body equals uh, null as well alright so we're setting our, our pieces of data up now we want to read the first 10 bytes of that one data now as such we want to know that we've got we don't have that new line in it because we know our structure is that we've got a new line therefore we're going to read nine bytes of data and then we're going to skip forward two bytes and then um, we're going to read the body of our message all right so whoops what we want to do is we want to use fread in this scenario okay um, now F, what does fread do it allows you to then read a certain amount of bytes from a file handle okay so uh, and then it will return whatever that it will return those amount of bytes so header essentially can be equal to then fread the file handle that we want and we want to go forward 
and we want to read nine bytes of data. Okay, that's it. And we're going to echo out header. All right. Now I know we haven't done the body at the moment, but we're going to read then um, nine bytes of data and echo this out. Let's come to our, our browser. Okay, refresh this code, and as you can see, then we get one through to nine. We get the nine bytes of data. Therefore, we know now that we've got our um, our header of data. Now what we want to do is we want to um, push the um, file handle forward two bytes. Okay, and what we're going to say is we're going to say fseek, and now remember that takes a file handle first of all. Okay, and then uh, we're going to then say skip forward two bytes, and then seek current position. All right, so we're going to move forward two bytes. And once we have done this, we then want to read the remaining bytes of information. Now, we just don't know um, how much data there is to read. You know, what, what, could, what could be in there? Or how big is the file size? So let's just say body um, equals fread. And we'll then say the file handle. And then we'll use this funky little function, which we, we learned about very, very quickly in the previous tutorial. And we'll just say then path. So that's going to give us, that's just going to read all of those bytes going forward. Yes, I know in file size, that's going to return the whole file size. So it's going to have that additional 11 bytes on um, of the two backslash ends. But um, this will keep reading until it reaches the end of file. Okay, so it just doesn't really matter. As long as our number goes over the length of the file, it will return the rest of the data. So therefore, let's say then um, dash 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 and put a break tag and then echo body out as well. Whoops. And we should get then a well formatted new form of email, or Gmail, Xmail, whatever. Okay, and there we go. Obviously, we didn't put a new line on the end there, but let's just put a new line on the end so it's formatted nicely. Okay, and as you can see, we've read nine bytes, we've skipped forward two bytes, okay, and then we've outputted the body to our, our message. All right, now if we skip forward three bytes with fseek, then you'll see that we lose the T. All right, so we've skipped forward too much. So we're kind of using um, a lot of information here that we wanted. So let's do this again, and just for the sake of using ftel as well, we um, are at position of, and we say ftel, and we say fp, so it just tells us which position the file pointer is at. Refresh it again. See here, we're at position 11, which was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, backslash n, backslash n, then started us at position um, 11 uh, as such. Okay? So uh, that's effectively F read. Now, you don't have to, it, it's, it's kind of one of the easier ways of then reading the whole file without having to worry about looping through stuff because realistically speaking, if we weren't worrying about all of this rubbish here and we just said data equals uh, F, F read and then the file handle and then uh, file size, path, etc. And then it will return the data and we can echo out the data nice and easily. It's, it's a one liner to read the whole file. We come here, as you can see, it outputs the whole file there. So as long as you know that you read uh, up until the same amount of bytes in that file, it will keep reading, then get to the end of the file and return the data anyway. Okay, so it's kind of a bit of a difference with wanting to read byte by byte, line by line, okay, or just grabbing the whole contents of the file. Oh wow, grabbing the whole contents of the file. That could be like another function maybe, like file get contents path. Hmm? Essentially, this is the safest mode to do this without having to worry about 
any um, file handles using fopen or uh, uh, so on. So var file git contents needs to have then uh, a file that exists, but we can do that in another video tutorial. But essentially that's how you read um, uh, read data from a file, um, reading n bytes at a time. Okay. It's nothing more than that. Very, very simple. If you've learned how to use fgetc, fgets, um, um, fopen, and so on, then using fread is a no-brainer. Okay. Therefore, uh, it was nice and easy for you to understand. And understanding all these other ones like file git contents and so on, and um, file put contents, is essentially all of these functions all wrapped up into one. So this nice, dead easy. Um, few PHP functions okay um, that's this video tutorial done I hope that you got something out of it so it, it allows you to then learn you've now should learn how to use fopen um, uh, fseek ftel fgetc fgets um, file size you've learned how to make your own um, custom get underscore file size function, you've learned how to move forward bytes, backward bytes, move to the end of the file, uh, move an offset from the end of the file to read bytes, um, you've learned how to read line by line, there's a whole bunch of things which you've learned now if you've watched every single video, um, so you're really starting to understand file systems really well. There's a lot more, yeah, there's a lot more to go, um, but if you if you've watched every single video so far, then um, big thumbs up from me to you. Okay, thank you very much and bye-bye.